I think the, the, in recent memory, the last win that Kelsey got on Pacha was on his Zelda. He won game one as Palu and then swapped the Zelda and lost 3 0. Or 3 3 0, but 3 1 from that point. What? This, this is so weird. I mean, it was Pacha. He probably just didn't feel like playing Palu. Yeah. So right now we're seeing uh, a matchup that on paper is probably going to be very Pacha favored. Yeah. I mean, Palu versus Sonic. I've been told that is a good matchup for Palu. Yeah, I wonder though. Kells Stewart. has been working on a fox. Um, I'm, I'm going out. Oh, I'm switching with Phil. Oh, let's. Okay, let's get that. Let's get this new commentator. Thank you for commentating with me, though. That was yeah, yeah. That was a lot of fun. Is that your bag, bro? Don't forget your bag. Um, yeah. The last time, or sorry, I was talking about Kels's fox. Kelsey's Fox is very in the works. I think she said that she did want to try to play it at least one game in every set. I don't know if that is going to stick because this is top eight and this is her uh, tournament life right now. She's in losers. Pretty sure she's going to go Kirby for this. Yeah, we were just talking about that. So um, she last time took it. Yeah, last time was able to take a game with Kirby. She's been losing with Sonic. So. It uh, doesn't surprise me too much, especially because uh, the Kirby was actually looking pretty good at Shrine as well this last weekend. Yeah, I wasn't able to watch that, but we're going to see. Yeah, she didn't do too bad versus um, versus uh, Sharp, Nintendo yeah. Sharp. Yeah, and she's not doing too bad right now, getting 34% off of an offering, uh, opening. Continue with affairs, but Pacha answering the one of his own. Still running with a train with a... Like, he's such a good character in close quarters. Yeah, kind of a shit character other than, other, like, other, other than, that. than that, yeah. But I mean, when you think of this matchup, like, why do you think she's going, besides I lose as Sonic, let me try something else, why do you think the Kirby would work better than the Palu? The first thing I think of is he's kind of short, right? Yeah, he's super short. Like, he, he, I'm pretty sure um, if she crouches, uh, Palu can grab him. Yeah, uh, not only that, but uh, Palu is a character that, like, 95% of her approaches and her moves in neutral are going to be aerials. Yeah. So she's going to have to do them, or Pacha is going to have to do them as low to the ground as possible, right? Yeah, and it's just like an execution test or like a, yeah. and you mix up with dash attacks and stuff like that. But if she's ready for it, she can just shield and get a good punish within there because it's such a quick option. Yeah. And it also kills. Yep. And some patch, they decided, screw it. It's a kill move now. Oh, Trump Bear barely missing it. Oh, going to catch the jump with the outside. But with Vatis, they keep it up. And then it's Kells taking first stock. Kind of convincingly. Yeah, but getting off stage right now, definitely not a bad idea. Because even oh. though Kirby has multiple jumps, he does not have the best recovery. He's kind of exploitable when he's doing it, especially when he starts his up B. It's super yeah. hard to just, like, if you know the spacing, to go up there and just spike oh. him. But especially right now. because Kirby has terrible air drift. Yeah, exactly. You know, I feel like it's a very casual thing to say that Kirby and Puff are similar characters, but God, can they, they, you cannot have two characters that play different. Dude, they're so different. They're just balls. That's all they, That's yeah, all there is to them. They're spherical. Honestly, Pac-Man plays more like, yeah. uh, like Puff than Kirby does, but Pacha able to get that stock, only 60% to his name. Yeah, with that back air, who's going to be such a useful tool in that matchup just because it's a big area denial move. You can just like Kirby does not have the tools to deal with. Oh, back air, no jump here. We're we gonna see a two frame attempt. We are gonna miss it though. Oh, cat, continue with the Ubby. That was nice. so good. Did so you know much every Kirby there. main says that moves bad? Yeah, I know. But here, Kel's showing that she she knows something they don't. Apparently. Uh, I thought that's the first time I see inhale, and that's kind of interesting. I think she was going for the cheese. I don't see. Oh, he's fine, right? Oh, yeah, he is going for the, another inhale. That would have maybe been game. I'm pretty yeah. sure she could. He could have matched out if he has no jump. Yeah, I think so. Because uh, like you're oh yeah, lag. You're, you're super you're, low. You're putting lag, yeah. But right now another jab lock, and that is even percent with an entire stock up. Yeah, lapping, lapping in percent. Kels is putting on an entire train of damage. You know, I was watching. Oh my god, good parry on the bear. I was watching. Uh, I'm gonna keep this point for after this game actually, because yeah. Pacha. Kind of struggling yeah. right now, but having the ledge here, nice. back here, another one. 114%, this is definitely not out of death right now. For sure, especially because, like, one ledge scenario, I feel like, you know, he could just kind of rinse and repeat ledge trap, get a lot of yeah. damage that way, you know, even up the stock. Is, he, is that exactly what we're going to see? Ledge scenario for Kells again. Dude, that's so scary because we both know how willing Pacha is to use those down airs. Exactly. What was I just you saying? What yeah, was I saying? Yeah, the, the down airs. No, what was I saying? <laughs> <laughs> so... Yeah, that was definitely not out of that. She 
Kells definitely uh, was kind of antsy for that stock at the end. Yeah, when... and I feel like, I mean, I was about to say it. We know how likely Vacha is to use those downers going low against that. A little bit scary, but yeah. thanks for proving my point. She, I think she showed his hand a bit early there with that down special. Like, it kind of yeah, has... It... Or, like, or go like so low to the point that he can't punish you, but then he has to recover. Like, yeah. Yeah, and it's also just like there's also the threat of just like Palu up air, so you don't want to contest that. So I understand yeah. why she wanted to go low, but she was still at a percent where like downer was a lot more threatening to a stock than the up air. By no means, though, am I counting her out because that was all of her game. Uh, yeah. Just a uh, one big mistake and one great uh, capitalization on Pacha's part. Seems like I have noticed that Kelsey's Kirby has been playing a lot better than we have seen it in past tournaments and I honestly think it's because she's playing a lot more Fox playing a lot of other characters just makes your fundies nothing but better right yeah exactly and it's kind of weird to say but I feel like Fox and Kirby kind of like put themselves in similar situations where like in CQC I'm gonna guess if you jump with an up smash I need to like yeah it's a, a, lot of, a lot of shield pressure yeah, and just exactly. like getting getting out of shields options and stuff like that and, and especially when you main a character that is like as fundamentally different than most of the cast yeah, of Sonic. Like Sonic right yeah. exactly that's what, another point that I was gonna bring up right is like you play Sonic and then you kind of play Smash yeah right? like oh my god she just tried to like yeah she tried to like get a cheeky up B there but watch I was ready for it not ready for that forward tail gonna be sent off stage 130 yet at Lage a lot is gonna be able to take the stock here dude is it crazy to say that I feel like in this matchup neutral is Kirby favored and then disadvantage. I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know about Kirby favored, but he definitely wants to be in that position a lot yeah. more than off stage. I mean, then again, which character would rather be off stage than on stage? I mean, yeah. Anyways, but right now, even percent, even stocks. This is uh, Kels is opening here, getting a lot of percent. He racks damage so quickly. Yeah, I feel like no other Kirby's have this combo game too. <laughs> I feel like most Kirby's just go like up till up till up air. Yeah, but. Kel's good with her combo game. I mean, she has been playing this character since Brawl, right? 90% on the uh, 90 on the Palutena. Trying to go for the forward smash. Not going to quite connect here. Yeah. Now, Pacha ledge scenario. Dude, everyone's been missing their, their two frames on uh, Pacha here. It's kind of scary, but... Uh, if, he, if, he sh if he plays this just like keep away game correctly, yeah. there's not much that Kirby can do to just like get in. Yeah. Like you see, because... Oh, again? Oh yeah, there you go. She went low enough yeah. that she didn't get there. That's oh. so free. Yeah, that's... He died at 70. That, that's what I meant when that that old B, that up B is very vulnerable. Yeah. That Nair is going to be able to kill center stage on like, Jeez. what, 130? Oh, that, that move is strong. Yeah, they and they are like, it's very strong at the beginning and then very weak at near yeah. the end. I'm pretty sure later later hits even combo, uh, even at like higher percents. Ooh, almost getting that explosive flame would have gotten a nice extension off of that. But now, I feel like Kelsey needs this game because if you lose on FD, which is probably your best map in this matchup, that's really bad. And Pacha calling out the fair yeah. with his patented smash attacks. Good stuff from him. Yeah, that's. I feel like that's a lot of that's a problem. Is just like. That's why I don't really agree when you said uh, neutral is Kirby favorite. It's just like yeah. how does how does he get in? I mean, that's always been the problem with Kirby. Like, you like he looks so good. He looks so like in such a good position. But then you're able to just keep him out and just like knock him back over and over. And yeah, like, he's so light. It really doesn't take much to just send him flying off stage like that. So not only is he light, but he has like such slow air drift. So even if you like dash attack him across the stage and he doesn't live, you have you will have time to go run to the ledge. Yeah, and let's trap him before he can. Uh, he can regain a position yeah. and take by center stage. But right now, Kels saying Kirby didn't work once, uh, didn't work anytime. Like, I understand why she kept going. Uh, she went back to Kirby on game two because, like, she got stolen. But that game, like, it was just, yeah. it was just, uh, it was just kind of all patch of flavor. So right now, I understand yeah. why she's going for uh, the Sonic. But Pacha is so comfortable in this matchup. He just calls out every option correctly. Yeah, Pacha's been a master of the ledge. I said it last set, but man, Pacha and Smog just, I feel like they just want to put you at the ledge. And that is it. Their ledge trapping is amazing. We're going to see a homing attack. I thought maybe we we're going to see a downer there, similar to game one with the uh, Kirby down B. 
Yeah, I'll I mean, he doesn't really have to. He can just be content and just sit back oh. and take center stage, but air Kelsey dodge. might have something. Ooh, barely Dude, missing the back air. Yeah. Dig. I feel like getting a kill early as Sonic is so huge. Like, yeah, you have the potential for it. It's just like you need your moves to connect. Yeah, and it's not too, too common. No. Like, Especially usually his character kills you rather late. I mean, not late, but just, like, he doesn't... He's not a, a character that will cheese you out of stocks. Unless, like, you have a very, like, gimpable recovery and he can just, yeah. like, g gimp you with uh, strings or something like I that. I wouldn't but say that he kills late, but he has to find his kills, yeah, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Whereas, like, a lot of characters, like Palu, for example, or, like, Steve, we just saw... It. You just back air and you're just like, ah, oh, it hit. Nice. I mean, kind of the same goes for Sonic, but he just has to, like, set up a good ledge position and yeah, just, exactly. like, has to guess what are you going to do with yeah, it. Yeah, but back air's not a neutral move, is my yeah. point, right? But... Right now, look, cute, cute landing up there, Nair. She's gonna have to take the stock fast, cause yeah. especially if she wants to be playing uh, for the timeout win con, which I don't think is gonna happen. I mean, six I'm minutes on the clock yeah. and just like already two stocks down or one stock Almost down. Almost two stocks, yeah. yeah. It is always an option. It is always a uh, a good win con that a lot of players don't use, but it's definitely always there, right? Right now, she's playing extremely evasive. Pacha not be able, like, has not been able to find a hit in quite some yeah. time. I think Pacha's throwing out a lot of these dash attacks. Yeah. Just oh, wow, down tilt even beating out spin dash. I was gonna say she has a lot of moves that just straight up beat other moves, right? He's just hoping one of them collides with a with a spin dash. Because exactly. if he gets one hit just like that, almost a death with a down tilt up air. Down tilt fair, barely gonna miss. Good air dodge on Kelsey. Pacha, please, like. I feel like Pacha is one of the best players at just yep. never overcommitting. He always yeah. he plays so conservative and just like he ne he never gives you like any true openings to just get like a big punish out of him. And what a trait to have is Palutena as well. Exactly. I mean, if Palu doesn't Palu doesn't give you anything, you will not get anything, and that's what we were seeing kind of happen to Kells there. Finally going to be able to get the kill at 200 percent, but. Maybe too little too late. This might be a Pacha 3-0. Oh, nice, nice right with the back air there. That certainly would have put her in an advantageous position, but the good air dodge coming out from Pacha, barely missing the punish on the homing attack there. Pacha still looking to be in a good spot, though. Unless Kelsey can come up big. I, I like I like the way she's just like slowing the the, yeah. the, the she, she's slowing the gameplay down. She, yeah, she's just like sure. all right, I, just trying to like beat you in close quarters was not working, so I'm just gonna you know you know yeah. use my good moves. Like you can't hit that either. Like, Especially because we saw Pacha throwing out a lot of random dash attacks yeah. and stuff. So if she could bait one and punish it with a spin dash, that could be big. She's gonna take her time. And like not, right now, oh, she's the down. one who's not over committing. And yeah. look at that. Like the lead has always been has. Always Almost been made up like all the way back. And man, do I hate commentators curse. <laughs> like I felt so good when I was talking about Pacha down air and he hit it. And just like that I'm talking about, well, I was I was kinda counting Kelsey out, I'm not gonna lie, but right now back in it, percents are dead even. I mean the same way the, the same way Pacha was playing and just giving no oh. openings, Kelsey is just alright. I'm not gonna give you any openings either. Yeah. See what you do with it. Dude, I love how Kelsey, Kelsey's like a master of custom combos with both of her characters. Yes. I feel like every, this game doesn't allow for that much creativity, but I feel like what you see in creativity is kind of like, what, what players especially, I feel like Kelsey would be her combo game and like Pacha would be, you know, like using those unorthodox moves like that up smash. Uh, up smash. Gonna take, take it, punish the neutral get up. Yeah. She just spent that entire, like, she played so well, gave him no opportunities, and then she gave him one, he yeah. put her at ledge, and she spent the entirety of that last stock at ledge. Yeah, what was I talking and about, bro? Pasha and Smock. You yeah. get on ledge, you might as well just hold down, because yeah. that way you get center stage control back. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, when you're on last stock, you don't get that center stage back. You just wrap up your controller, and you're out at fifth. Yeah, but you know what? There's always next time. Kelsey, there is out at fifth. Next time.